going to be grafting some oaks today with a field craft top grafter. It's this tool right here. Before I get started, these oak seedlings have been on a heat mat and they're in plugs. These are going to be my root stocks. I have some scions over here. So I got my heat mat. These have been on here for five weeks and after four, if you don't see any bud break, getting into the fifth and sixth week, they're ready to graft. So I'm going to get prepared. I'm going to wax these scions because the scions aren't straight. And I'm going to show you how to get, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to wax these. This is paraffin wax, it comes in a box. Cut the box in half. It's a one gallon milk jug, cut the top out of. Gonna put half a piece of wax in here. And I'm gonna fill it up with almost boiling water. And I'm gonna put a thermometer in there. And once the temperature drops to 160, I'm going to start waxing my scions. So this wax is obviously going to completely melt. takes some time. It's pretty full. It's actually full of the rim. I'll try to get this to go faster. I have a digital thermometer. It's a candy thermometer. I guess they're called food thermometers. And these are pretty nice compared to the glass ones that have barium in them. Because this is instant. You don't have to screw around. I've turned it on since last year. Let's see. I'm going to sit here and wait. This will be part one. Grafting oaks. This field graft top grafter. And I should show you real quick, this is why I'm dipping them, because the scions are not straight sticks. So here's one of my scions. I'm going to plunge these in, but I'm going to leave this area below so I can make my cuts. And then I'm going to join them to these root stocks I showed you over here. And everything up here is going to be waxed. This is going to be taped, and then I'm going to put parafilm tape around the cut area, or the wound area. And this parafilm tape is also wax. It's another version of wax. Okay, I got a mixture of wax. Uh, I should have heated the water some more. Temperature is at 135 after I got the block wax, or the piece of wax melted. Uh, I'm going to start dipping these. I'm going to see first if I like the wax coverage. And that's actually pretty excellent. Nice and thick. It's covering everything really well. So we've left the bottom here that we're going to make our cuts on. I'm going to dip these kind of fast.
started getting kind of too thick. I'll dip these a little faster. I'm setting them on cardboard. They will dry pretty much right away. Still getting a good coat. And you do this so the scion doesn't dry out. While it's, while it's callousing the work area, while this is callousing your cuts coming together and making the graft, uh, you can't let this wood dry out. And that's why we're going to also put parafilm tape on below. Cover that whole working area. These are waxed. And we'll get started, actually.